Alright, we're not unboxing a laptop, so we're back to this format of videos. And we've got a two-parter for this one. This is the Tough Gaming E1, an SSD enclosure that promises some very surprising things. Let's get it unboxed. But before we continue with the video, let's keep the lights on here in the studio. This video is brought to you by Sneak Attack Design Lab. They're a clothing company that specializes in technical fashion, more commonly known as techwear. And you can see me in their clothes in most of my videos. I've been supporting their brand ever since I met them back in 2019, and now they're returning the favor. Head on over to this link, you can find it in the description as well, to get 10% off your order from their site. Check their clouds out, you're bound to see something badass over there that'll look great on you. Thank you very much to Sneak Attack for this exclusive promo for my viewers. Now, back to the video. So the Tough Gaming A1 comes in a black and grey box that's got some very rugged print on it. At the front, we can see a photo of the item. Apparently, it's also rated for IP68 water and dust resistance, meaning that it can survive being submerged in fresh water up to a maximum depth of 1.5 meters up to 30 minutes, and is completely dustproof. Alright. It's also rated for mill standard 810H, meaning it can survive extreme altitudes, humidity, pressure, temperature, and is drop and shock proof. Alright. At the back, we can see more features. It supports both SATA and NVMe drives with its dual interface, and it has a Q latch for quick installation of drives. Pretty nice. Alright, let's get it opened. Upon opening up the box, we're greeted with the user manual and quick installation guide which we will instinctively ignore. Under that, we get an Allen key, the product itself, and the USB-C to USB-C data cable. Okay, let's take a look at the Tough Gaming A1. The first thing that you're going to notice once it's in your hand is the weight. This is a chunky, heavy boy. Compared to the ROG Strix Arian Lite, the Tough Gaming A1 is slightly larger, way thicker, and heavier. This is like the tank version of the Strix Arian Lite. On the front, we can see the rugged styling Tough Gaming went with the A1. It looks like you broke off a piece of a Hummer and used it as a storage device. We have a T-Boss Tough logo here at the bottom right, an LED drive activity indicator here at the top center, and a metal loop for hanging straps off of here at the top. This loop is much more substantial and spacious compared to the one on the Arian, and is a welcome change for me. At the bottom, we can see the weather-sealed USB-C port, and at the back, we can see the panel that can come off to install the SATA or NVMe M.2 SSD, held in place by four Allen bolts. Let's get all of them off and install this Lexar 500GB NVMe M.2 SSD. Upon removing the cover panel, we can see the insides of the Tough Gaming A1. The main board supports three sizes of M.2, 2242, 2260, and 2280 sizes, denoted by the three Q-latch slots here. Adjusting the Q-latch mechanism is easy. To remove the Q-latch from a slot, you just have to rotate it counterclockwise and nudge it towards the larger hole and pull it out. Just do the process in reverse when installing it into a different hole. Let's get the drive installed. To use the Q-latch, you just have to make sure that it's in the horizontal position like this, install your SSD, then rotate the latch clockwise to lock in the drive. I love this mechanism, way easier than using screws. One thing to notice here at the drive bay is how Asus Tough has sealed it off from the elements. It looks like they took a three-stage baffle and o-ring approach to prevent water and dust ingress into the drive bay. The first baffle is at the outside, where the resting angle of the panel against the body is at 90 degrees, meaning that any sudden splashes of water or pressurized liquid will not hit the crease at full pressure. After that, it will meet the second stage, which is this o-ring around the drive bay. When the panel is closed, this o-ring squeezes up into the panel and creates an airtight seal around the drive bay, making water ingress only possible if the water pressure is greater than the pressure exerted by the o-ring against the panel. And lastly, if we look at the back side of the panel, we can see that there is also another baffle that inserts into the drive bay area. This functions similar to the first baffle, reducing the pressure of water ingress by breaking the flow at two opposite 90 degree angles. To illustrate this crudely, I drew this. This is what it looks like from the side. For water to reach the drive, it'll have to enter the gap between the body and the cover panel, maintain enough pressure to make that 90 degree bend, overcome the pressure of the airtight o-ring seal, make two more 90 degree bends before reaching the drive bay. You will need a ton of water pressure to do all of this. 
great job with the ingress protection on this, Asus. Last thing I want to point out is the long strip of thermal adhesive pad at the back side of the panel. A lot of modern M.2 SSDs run hot, especially the large capacity ones. The Tough A1 officially supports M.2 SATA and NVMe drives up to 2TB, so having this thermal pad here is a great addition. Alright, that's everything about the Tough Gaming A1. Let's give it a transfer test. Alright, here's a test of the Tough Gaming A1 in Crystal Disk Mark. Do note that this is not exactly how your Tough Gaming A1 might perform, since this denotes the performance of the M.2 drive inside, not the enclosure. But like I said at the start of the video, there's going to be a second part to this, where we're going to test how life-proof the Tough Gaming A1 is, by throwing it off a fourth floor balcony, submerging it in a swimming pool, and even shooting at it with a low pressure gel gun and a high pressure airsoft gun. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified once that video is out. So that's the Tough Gaming A1 M.2 SSD enclosure. Are you impressed as well with the protection it provides? Let me know in the comments. If you would like to buy one for yourself, I've included links down in the description. Thank you very much as well to Sneak Attack Design Lab for presenting this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more tech and tech-adjacent videos. That's it, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.